All right, the White House yet to comment on that. Here to discuss former New York City Commissioner in the Giuliani and Bloomberg administrations, Brian Anderson, Florida businessman, lawyer, and GOP strategist Ford O'Connell, and host of Money Talk with Melanie, Melanie Collette. Melanie, I'll start with you. Your response. Yay! Okay, starting with me. <laughs> <laughs> I am so angry about this. First of all, I'm, I'm super delighted that Elon Musk is doing this. And, you, you know, there's a lot of Elon Musk haters out there. I don't know why. Do you hate truth? You hate liberty? You hate free speech? What you should hate is the fact that Democrats worked along with social media to uh, affect an election and that you were lied to as voters and constituents. That's what you should hate. You should be mad about that instead of hating on Elon Musk for revealing the truth. Brian? That's my... Yeah, there, there are fingerprints all over this. I'm just waiting to see where it goes. Whose and you're fingerprints, right. you think? Well, I, well, we'll see. I don't want to ruin any surprises, but uh, it, it's going to be very interesting. And again, we were deprived of information, and I know Bob says it didn't affect the elections, or you, you don't no, feel don't, it should no, have. No, no, that's, no. I, no, okay, I'm wrong. That, I take, no, I take don't it back. Mis, misquote me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not I'm that sorry. the world was waiting for quotes from me. But when you're deprived of information uh, that could affect your vote, uh, I think that's what we're going to see here. It's going to be very interesting. Ford, your thoughts? Well, look, I think that the Twitter files are a bombshell. It shows that Twitter intentionally interfered in the 2020 presidential election to help Joe Biden. It had no reason whatsoever to quash the story. The story was not hacked. It was not Russian disinformation. And what polling shows, to Brian's point, is had this story been covered truthfully, the New York Post story, which is not a Hunter Biden story, it's in fact the Joe Biden story, had it been covered truthfully in the final weeks of the election, Polling consistently shows that Donald Trump would have won. Remember, in the battleground states, Joe Biden won by less than 43,000 votes. You are literally talking about three votes per county in Georgia, Arizona, in Wisconsin. And had that changed, guess what? Donald Trump would be in the White House. That's why conservatives are hacked off, not just the freedom of speech, but they intentionally interfered in an election. And this is not being driven home anywhere other than the conservative media. Okay, let's... Uh... Go ahead, Melanie. No, I was going to say, and let's not forget that President Joe Biden looked right in the camera at the American people and lied to our faces. Everybody, Democrats and Republicans, should be hot. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that Mr. Giuliani did there is remind you uh, this isn't just about Twitter. This is the fact that uh, this is about the Bidens. This is about Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. It's not about Twitter or how it was utilized. Brian. I, I think exactly right. Uh, you know, again, we were deprived of information that could have made uh, we, we could have made decisions based on it. We feel one way or the other. But again, just substitute a name here. Suppose it was Eric Trump's laptop that was found with the similar kinds of things going on. Yeah. Do you think it would have been secret or uh, hidden away? It could never have been. Yeah, and, and just to clarify, what what um, th 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 when we had talked a little about this, the, the thing about it, I expect Democrats to try to reach out to the New York Times every day, Ford. And, and I'm sure they're trying to manipulate the message that gets out there. To me, the hope of a place like Twitter was that it was more libertarian, that it was not going to be driven by politics as much, that it was going to be a platform for all views, other than certain things that just shouldn't be out there, of course, and that, that there was a failure in doing that. Uh, and, and that's what my biggest disappointment is, because they have legal protection. You're a lawyer. They have legal protection from getting sued for what's out there, so they're not supposed to edit what's out there. Well, th that's exactly right, Bob. And I think this is much different than, say, the Biden campaign calling the New York Times or CNN to spike a story. Let's remember, social media is the most popular and effective form of communication in America right now, even over the smartphone. So when we talk about this, this would be a lot like AT&T, for those of us who are older, basically cutting the phone line to anyone who they don't like what they're saying. Jonathan Turley talks about this all the time, and he's exactly right because you have to look at social media, Twitter, Facebook, more like a utility than what we would consider CNN or Fox or whomever. Ford, haven't you ever been on a call and you hear funny sounds and you wonder who's listening? <laughs> I Boy, I'm so old that I used to think it was the Soviets. Now I'm starting to think it's the Democrats. <laughs> well, that's what I thought all along. Uh, stick around, if you will. We're going to take a break here. Coming up, gay Asian Jesus coming to Harvard.